When it comes to attracting a mate, every guy has his own approach. I would probably would dress up nice with like dress pants with like, some nice shirt. I would just stay on the casual side. And so you don't want to come off as your atypical sleazy sort of bar hopper. But on the spawning grounds of the Australian cuttlefish, males have to go the extra mile. The females are rejecting 70% of all attempts at mating that they encounter on any given day. So they're extremely choosy. Large males will guard a female and fight off small males. So what's a little guy to do? Marine biologist laboratory scientist Roger Hanlon says they sometimes disguise themselves as a female. Why would he want to turn into a female? The reason is that the big males would like to have additional mates. Using the same camouflage trick that allows them to escape predators, a small male will change shape and color to mimic a female and swim right past a large male. And as soon as he gets under the big male and he's next to the female, it's like, okay, let's try a mating. And this is the incredible thing, is that the female mates with those mimics at a higher percentage than she does with other males. As Hanlon reported in the journal Nature, DNA samples provided the first genetic evidence of sexual mimicry successfully resulting in offspring. As for why it works, he can only guess. Maybe there's an advantage to that female to get some of his genes. Maybe he's a pretty clever guy. Another notch on the belt for brains over brawn. I'm Brad Closa.